On my last video I did the power tools cubbies up here and to screw them in place I stood up on a bucket. Now I had a couple of comments from people asking why I don't build a step stool to stand on so I decided I'll do that and that's what's coming up next. Now to blend in with the rest of my shop decor I'm going to be making it from half inch spruce plywood and I made a little bit of a plan here that you can go to my website and download if you want to make an exact copy. I designed a stool to be completely built with half inch plywood. I'm using spruce sheathing and I'm cutting it to the sizes as shown on the drawing. There's a semicircular cutout on parts A1 and A2, B1 and B2, C1 and C2, and E1 and E2. To mark out these curves, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just using something that's circular and close to the right size. With all the parts cut out, I can start assembly. The first thing I need to do is attach C1 to A1 and C2 to A2. I'm using 3 quarter inch brads and wood glue to fasten these parts. Now I need to attach parts D1 and D2 to C1 and C2. The next step is to fasten E1 to the side assemblies with 1 and a quarter inch nails and glue. And I can fasten E2 in the same way. Next up I can put B1 and B2 in. Once again I'm using 3 quarter inch brads and glue. F1 and F2 are glued and nailed in next. The last parts to put on are the treads, parts G1 and G2. These get glued and nailed on with one and a quarter inch brad. I gave the glue on the stool a couple hours to dry and now I can sand everything smooth. The finishing touch is a single coat of satin polyurethane. This keeps it clean and pretties it up a little bit. Okay, well this is it. Ready to use. It's a very light and the way it's built, it's very strong. It's also very stable. And when I don't need it, it tucks in tight against the wall like that out of the way. So that's it. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.